It's a windy one today. Good morning, guys. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hi. 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 How you doing? How you doing? Yo guys, I'm about to go go to the grocery store early in the morning for my mom leaves for work and go get some stuff for dinner tonight because I'm actually going to cook dinner tonight. Finally. What are you doing? Are you just running up and down? Are you just running up and down? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Just got here and I got some, um, the recipe calls for some A&W uh, group beer and I got some pork loins. Remember last time when I was doing my paleo for CrossFit, I'll come in here almost every day and buy a steak. Look how much it is, like $14.07 for a steak, but it's so good. I learned how to cook steaks last summer too. All right, let's see, what else do I need? Do I need any of this? Some wasabi sauce. Uh, no. Maybe, hold on. Maybe. Nope, I thought that was liquid smoke. Never mind. Now, what barbecue sauce do I want? There's really not that much of a selection. If this was in the States, I'll have like a whole plethora. Especially could become in June and stuff like that. Maybe some, I want Jack Daniels, that looks good. When I was younger, I used to love these things. Oh, maraschino cherries, oh my gosh, they're good. And then I moved up to the States with my dad and my stepmom, and she used to open these and put vodka in it, and I was still too young to drink, so when I opened, I was like, oh my gosh, maraschino cherries. And I tasted the vodka, and I was just like, <laughs> and it kind of ruined me for the rest of my life. Maybe you put some tequila in it? Got me. Huh. That gives me an idea. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's been so choppy lately, and there's a bus. Uh, but yeah, it's been so freaking choppy lately, and it just sucks because you can't get really get on the water, and you can't really go fishing or anything like that because it's like really hard to go fishing when it's all windy. But hey, hopefully it brings some rain. We're waiting for the rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain this week, but I've been waiting for the rain, so we'll see. Let me show you guys what I have. I'm trying to cook the meat right now. It's got six hours to cook, so I put it on low on the crock pot and this is what I have. I have onions on the bottom as you guys can see from down there. I have onions on the bottom. I put a little honey on it to make it a little sweet. You don't have to. Oh and the seasoning I have on here is a little bit of thyme. That's what all these little flakes are. And then I have this is um garlic pepper I believe it's called. Let me see. Yeah, garlic pepper from uh McCormick. I just sprinkle a little bit on there, on, on each side of the meat. Calls for a, a can, got 20 ounce, just for a little bit extra, because I don't know if I'm gonna need more or not, because it might not actually cover the meat. And apparently it does, because these are now kind of floating a little bit. So maybe next time I'll just get a, uh, a can and stuff, but that's all it is to it. And then you just let it simmer for six hours, which would probably be about 3.30 right now. It should be good, but I cannot wait to mix it with some of this, some Jack Daniels honey I mean, hickory brown sugar barbecue sauce. That sounds so good. This is what it looks like so far. The, ch the meat's starting to uh, turn brown, so it's starting to cook. It's starting to look really good, and it smells amazing. It was about six hours later, and I got some of the pork right here. I got one le one more tenderloin to do, then I'll be good. And then I'm going to put some of this barbecue sauce on it, and then some little bit of honey and put it in the oven, supposedly, for like 350 or something like that. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but this is just so good. I love pork. And voila, it is done. Looks so good and it tastes so good too. I cannot wait to dig in. So guess what guys? I guess you guys are gonna be having this clothes, these clothes for a couple more uh, weeks because for some stupid reason, or when I went to the store when I tried to return you guys, the wonderful girl at the Best Buy Valdosta location was like, oh yeah, let's see, um, they're probably gonna just say just in-store uh, switch out, whatever like that, in-store replacement because they don't want to send it back. Well, Peter said they need to send it back, so they sent it back. I don't know why I just got a phone call today, like maybe like five minutes ago saying, um, yeah, Best Buy, they rep they didn't really repair it, but they're going to do an install replacement. Why can they do this when the girl was trying? Like, she was actually trying her hardest to get an install replacement. She's like, go look around and all that stuff. What an awesome girl. Uh, she's kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, great. So now to go all the way back down to about Austin. That won't be till like, July when I'm going to Orlando. Thanks, Best Buy. You guys are always on top of your stuff. I was hoping to have, like, the camera back by VidCon, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have one. Dang it. Oh, well. Drop it low, let me play that back. What?